Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana and today I'm gonna talk to you about motorbike rentals and accidents in Thailand and how to do wound dressings after that motorbike accident. Have fun watching. I wrote down some things about motorbike accidents, rental, any advice, any knowledge that I have, I will share with you in this video. Um, I had a motorbike accident two days ago. It was not my first one. Motorbike accidents in Thailand are very, very common. I have to admit that all of my accidents were actually my fault. So I was too fast. I was on my phone when I was driving. I was driving shit dirt roads, whatever stuff. But it happens loads of times that it's really not your fault. And therefore, I'm gonna wait for this video to help you to make the right decision if you should ride a motorbike in Thailand or not, if you should rent it, where you should rent it, and so on. Um, yeah, so I hope you like my bike rental hacks. If you do, I would really appreciate it if you like the video. And yeah, let's go. So it's really convenient to go from place to place on a motorbike here in Thailand and it's also really cheap to rent them. They start from 150 baht, which is like 4 euros, like 5 US dollars a day. For long term rentals you must pay around 2000 to 4000 baht a month. But there's a big, big business behind it. So if you scratch it, if you crash it, whatever, they will charge you shit loads of money. Therefore, I would recommend you to rent the motorbikes that have insurance. They are a bit more expensive. They are around 250 to 350 Thai baht a day. I would seriously recommend you if you stay in a place for a longer time, like at least a month, you should just buy your own bike. And that's what I did. I got a quite a cheap one. I paid like 10,000 baht for it. You can also get ones that are around 8,000 baht up to 15, 16,000. That's like the average price for an okayish bike. Please make sure that it has a plate and it would be best if it also had a green book. Cause if there is a police control they might just take away your bike if you don't have the green book, which means that you're the legal owner. Yeah, you can buy those bikes on several platforms. For example, on Facebook, there are Facebook groups like Kotao for sale, Phuket for sale, motorbikes for sale. Just look in the area where you're located and then join the group and then you will find loads of motorbikes that you can buy. If you want to rent a bike, I would really recommend you not to leave your passport there because like I just said, it's kind of a business model over here. They rent out the bike, then you scratch it, then they charge you shit loads of money, like 10 to 20 or more thousand baht is quite normal for that. I met a guy yesterday and he had to pay 10,000 baht. I crushed the bike once, it was not too bad, just a few scratches, but I had to pay like 6,000 baht and you really don't need that. So look for a rental station which doesn't require your passport of course you will have to leave some deficit sometimes it's money sometimes just driver's license but don't ever leave your passport i would also recommend you to check on trip advisor in the area where you are which motorbike rental is most recommended like for kotao it's for example, Ollie's in Mayhat, Ollie's bike rental, or Banyan's in Sairi, they won't rip you off. So what's the first thing to do when you actually have a motorbike accident? Of course, if other people are involved, just make sure that everyone's okay. Um, exchange your details for insurance information, whatever. Anyway, if you have any kind of wounds, you should go to a doctor and let them clean it, let them dress it professionally. At least for the first time. Afterwards, you can renew your dressage by yourself, but you should have someone clean it. For me, it's the most difficult thing to clean my wounds myself because I'm just such a pussy about it. I can't take the pain if someone else does it, but. I can't do it myself so 
If you go to a clinic, just make sure before someone takes care of your wounds that you ask them how much it will be. For like normal wound dressing, for like three to five, um, you can pay around 500 baht if you're lucky. Some other clinics charge you 200 Thai baht per wound. This is what I paid, but it can get more and more and more expensive. Like I was in the Philippines, they washed out one wound and just dress it and I paid like 100 euros. So please make sure if you're not that bad injured to choose an option which will not make a big big hole in your wallet afterwards. That guy that I met yesterday, he got stitches and stuff and he ended up paying 6,000 baht, which is around 150 euros. And yeah, that's really not nice. If you have full health insurance anyway, and they will cover anything, just go to whatever and pay whatever. Um, yeah, if you have to pay yourself, I would really make sure that they don't rip you off. Another rip off thing in clinics is that they will sell you medicine like painkillers and antibiotics, whatever. Don't ever buy medicine at the hospital because it will be freaking expensive. You can get any kind of medicine in Thailand in any pharmacy and even in supermarkets. So the pharmacy is the cheaper option compared to the hospital, but it's still quite expensive. But if you go to the supermarket, you will get the same stuff for a really, really good price. But just make sure that you know what kind of medicine you need. Don't do any self-medication. <laughs> I will show you all things you need and get in every 7-Eleven shop for changing bandages in a minute. They will probably tell you at the clinic to come back every day to exchange the bandages, but I would personally not do that because I don't want to spend money on that. I can just do it myself. I'm going to show you in that video how I do it. The next step is to keep it clean and dry. So don't go into the water, don't go diving, don't go swimming, don't go anything with your wounds. Just rest. Leave the bandage on for at least like two days because at first it's like a hole in your body. and Your body has to repair it so it's closed and then it has to be dry. So we're in Thailand, the humidity is very, very high. This is why it's so hard to get clean and dry wounds here. You should probably spend a day or two in an aircon room so your wounds can dry out. As soon as the wound is kind of feel like there is a layer on it. I don't know the English word at the moment. I use the Luminous Serum. This product was designed by a plastic surgeon in order to heal wounds and reduce scars. So I had lots of good experiences with that. No scars anymore after my bad blood infection, after my coral cut, stuff like that. You can't get it in Thai pharmacies, but you can get it from all over the world. I'll put the link down below and it's really good for any kind of whatever you have. I put it on everything that has to do with my skin, if it's, if it's bad skin, if it's wrinkles, whatever. It helps with everything. I think I made another video about it, so you should check that out. Luminous Serum is just simply amazing. Now I'm going to show you what kind of medicine and other things you can get in 7-Eleven for taking care of your wounds. Um, first of all, I need painkillers. This is paracetamol, 500 milligrams, 100 tablets for 45 baht, which is around 1 euro 20. So you should really get it at the supermarket because they will charge you so much at the pharmacy for the same stuff you can get for cheap. So the first thing you want to do when you take off your bandages, which is what I do now, oh, doesn't look nice at all, it'll be alright. It needs to be cleaned. You should only clean it with that 
normal saline solution. Don't wash your hands with normal water because it's contaminated. So you can get those for like 60 baht in every 7-Eleven. So it's really, really important that your wounds are clean. If they are not, they cannot heal. Mine are at the moment because I got them just at the clinic. But I had some things on my foot and I was stepping into sand and stones, whatever. And especially if you have cuts, you can get this thing. It's, you can get it at 7-Eleven to get out the little sand and stones and whatever of your cuts and of course tweezers so that doesn't look nice I'll just pour that watery thing over it I hate to do that it doesn't hurt though it's actually healing quite well to be honest um, then I just dip it a bit with that um, So next step would normally be to pour alcohol over it. I'm not gonna do that now because it's clean anyway. Then I use the iodine solution. Normally it's liquid. The liquid one is very cheap, but I use the, the powder spray, which is for me more convenient, but it's freaking expensive. Um, I just go like this. This is how it looks like. So your goal is now to dry out your wound. Therefore, I have this venison powder. It depends on what kind of injury you have. So not injury is the same for some. You might also use this antiseptic cream. But my main goal at the moment is to get it dry. So I'm gonna use that powder it's called venison. I'm just gonna apply it. That wound is not so bad anymore at the moment, therefore I will just put a plaster on. If you need a bandage, you should make sure that you have a non-sticky pad, like that one. Because I, did the, I made the mistake on this wound. I just put a normal gaze pad on it and then managed it and it grew in as it was drying. So you should not make that mistake. Yeah. Now I put the bandage on it. I got the plaster. It's very, very important that your wound stays clean and dry. If your wound is healing well and don't need it to cover with a plaster or whatever all the plaster comes off I would recommend you this little magic thing it's awesome because it doesn't stick to the wound but it sticks to itself so especially if you have cuts or whatever on your toes on your foot this is epic you can get it at 7-eleven it's like 40 baht let's go over to the next thing which is my knee there we go questions concerning motorbike rentals or buying medicine or whatever in Thailand just let me know if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if not just let me know down below in the comments what I could improve so you would like the video and I'm also gonna make a video about medicine in Thailand in general what is it if you have a cold or whatever so just stay tuned follow my social media subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll be able to film some more underwater adventures for you soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.